Hello and welcome! I am Scatterbrain and this is another One Command Block Showcase! So, today we are going to be testing something very dangerous. It's radioactive and we... We need a lab to test radioactivity in. We can't just be testing radioactivity out in our own world where where we might let it loose and kill all the testificate villagers. So I need to find a lab. And I, I had to think, I, I don't have a lab, so who, who could I borrow a lab from? And I thought, oh, Dan the Diamond Minecart has a lab, doesn't he? I could borrow his lab. He would totally let me use his lab. Well, unfortunately, uh, he didn't respond to any of my maybe slightly stalkerish tweets and Facebook messages. So I decided I'd come out here and look for it on my own. And look, I found it. Look at this. It's Dan the Diamond Minecart's lab. So, uh, we're gonna be testing something super dangerous, if I can get in the door. And, uh, I asked, uh, Do Treoris is here. Uh, the Dan Diamond Minecart is not, but Dr. Treoris is somewhere around here. Where are you, buddy? Yeah. Hey, yeah, he said he would love if I used his equipment, didn't you? Huh. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, what he said was he was calling the police. So, we need to be quick. <laughs> he's only gonna he's only gonna be patient for so long I think so I I do know there is a uh, there's a command block over here and that's what we need so let's grab the command block and uh, the redstone now I could set it up in here but I'm not gonna do that it'll probably destroy the lab why does this place have no roof I always wondered that why is there no roof on this place so anyway Let's set up the command real quick, and you guys all know the drill. Put the command in, and done, and then you put some redstone down, and it summons in on your face. Ow. Let me out. Okay, it's a good thing that was just, uh, glass and some clay. Uh, one thing I did notice about this is, uh, this, thi this happened. Yeah. So, we're gonna actually, I'm gonna turn off chat. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening, but it's annoying. So, this is... The radioactivity mod by the spellbook. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this stuff. I, uh, uh, whoops, that stuff didn't belong to me. I should not have just thrown it away into creative. My bad. Well, anyway, let's get our items. It's green now. Cool. So what we have to do is we have a crafting table and another star. Let's go back in the lab because this, Dr. Treoris, I have another scientist for you. I, I'm not all bad. I brought another scientist for you to hang out with. Is, is, does that make it a little bit better? Huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's hurry this up before the police come. Anyway, let's throw this stuff on the ground. And we get the radioactive scientist. He looks very similar to Dr. Treoris. Hello, radioactive scientist. How are you? You guys, you're very talkative, aren't you? All right, so in here we can buy some stuff. But we, have, we don't have these items. So what we need to do is we need to run over here and get the items. They're in this chest. Conveniently, I'm just robbing everything from Dan the Diamond Minecart. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we've got everything. I've also got some skeletons to fight in case we need to fight some stuff. You know, because there's usually some sort of weapon in this mo in these uh, things. Hello, radioactive scientist. So he wants for uranium a diamond and some redstone. So I guess we'll buy that. Thank you for that. And then for eight obsidian and a glowstone dust, we get a nuclear reactor. It's pronounced nuclear. <laughs> It's a Simpsons joke, guys. Don't you get it? Anyway, nuclear reactor. And then, uh, we don't have any of this stuff. So what we need to do is we need to go set up our nuclear reactor, I think. It, hi. It's creepy the way you stare. So let's go out here. Again, I promised not to destroy the, uh, the place. I, I didn't really promise anything, actually. I, I'm just, I'm trying to be nice in my, in my breaking and entering. Uh, <laughs> let's, um... So what we have to do is we have to throw the nuclear reactor down. And look at this. It's a spinning piece of obsidian. That's actually really awesome. I love the animation some people uh, create in these things. And then we also have the uranium. Okay, I am in survival mode now because this should be fun. So let's let's throw it down. Run for your life. Run. Run for your life. I don't want to die. I don't, uh, I'm going to die. Why did you open the inventory? I didn't do that. Oh, I'm dead. Dead penguin. Uh, there's just a road over here. All right, guys, I am back, and this is the aftermath of what happened. Uh, and in here, there are some items, but unfortunately, uh, they have disappeared because the world spawn for this place was about 400, 500 blocks of that way, and it broke the whole thing. I was really mad. 
But this stuff is radioactive. When you stand on it, you get the wither effect and blindness. It's very painful. And you will die very quickly if you're not careful. I'm not very good at parkour. So uh, what we need to do is we need to do that again, but we're going to do it in survive or creative mode so that we can actually get the items. All right, we're going to actually watch this one blow up now. Let's throw that down. Fly away. Oh, it's awesome. I love the animations and the all that fun stuff. Explosions. Whoa. Hey, look. There we go. So let's find this stuff we're looking for. Here's some of it. Is that all of it? I don't even know. Ah, oh, yeah. See, slowness to, wither to, nausea to, and blindness to. So yeah, we've got some radioactive waste and some power substance. I guess I did get them from the last one, but I wanted to watch it in creative mode because we didn't get to see it blow up. We were running away and we still died. But let's go back to uh, the Dr. Treoris lookalike and trade him some stuff because we need we need more stuff. Sir, where are you? There you are. Let's see, what do you have for us? For two power substances, and let's put two of those in, and a shtick we get the power sword it gives us 20 plus plat, plus 20 max health plus 10 damage and 100 or time sorry i can't read numbers 10,000 percent knockback let's grab that all right and this is why i have the skeletons unfortunately it's the middle of the day they're probably gonna burn but huh no we don't have any really where else to do it so let's spawn a few in hopefully they won't all burn before i can kill them with my power stick power sword i know I know, it's not a stick, it's a sword. But this is awesome! I need some enemies that don't uh, burn in the daylight, though. A little bit of lag. I have creepers now. The only thing I can think of that don't burn in the daylight. And I'm in creative mode, so they're not gonna blow up anyway. Knockback! Knockback! How much damage does this say it had? It, uh, it does 10 attack damage. Oh, okay. I thought it was higher for some reason. Thought we were gonna one-hit these creepers, but nope, we're gonna two-hit them. I can bet I could do- yeah! Ah, oh, it still didn't kill him with the super. So, what else do you have for us, radioactive scientist? The radioactive sword is cool and all, but I want some better stuff. For one power substance and a furnace, we get the radioactive furnace. All right, now, with the radioactive furnace, what you have to do is you have to throw it on the ground, and it spawns in sort of weird, but what you do is you grab your food. I have one raw chicken. Whoops. Spawn instantly. Hold on. Let's get some more food real quick. I thought I got a stack at first, but I guess not. So let's see. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that's some fast cooking. Ah, if only my Thanksgiving dinner was going to be that fastly cooked. Wouldn't have to wait for it. Now to get this back, you just have to break it and you have to sp be standing in front of it to get it back. But that's pretty much it for that. So let's see what else the radioactive scientist has. Hello, good sir. So we've done that. We've done that. Ah, for a water bottle. And one radioactive waste, we get the potion of radioactivity. Slowness 2, instant damage 3, blindness 2, and wither 2. So let's grab that. And then we're going to spawn some creepers. Hey, creepers, you ever want to be killed with a weird potion? Yeah? You did? Is that what you said? Well, there you go. Nope, wrong button. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah! Oh, I, I got myself. I think I killed all the creepers, though. All right, I can't kill Treoris, though. He, yeah, we can't kill you, Treoris. Please back away. Sir, back away. I know this is your lab and all, but I really don't want to kill you. Thank you. I'm slow still. Ugh, this sucks. All right, throw him at there. Yeah. Uh, it said it said when you throw two of these at a enemy, or not an enemy, uh, another player, it will kill them after two. So that's good. All right, I like this one, but what else do you have, buddy? I know you got more stuff in your magical inventory. For one radioactive waste and five TNTs, we get a nuke. Oh, a nuke. I don't know if we should use that one yet. What else do we have? A radioactive power. 420 blaze it, bros. <laughs> 12.5 negative max health and negative 50 knockback resistance. That doesn't sound good at all. And look at all this stuff you have to get. All right, well... I guess I'm going to be blowing stuff up for a minute. Hold on. Oh, okay. So the radioactivity does go away. That's good. Because I thought I was just going to cover this whole area in radioactivity. But again, I'll be right back because we need a bunch of stuff. All right. Well, that took an age. But I'm finally done. This is how high off the ground my nuclear weight... It's a mob spawner now. It's so high off of the ground and so dark. Hopefully, it'll go away soon. 
Hopefully before Dan the Diamond Minecart comes back. He'll be mad about that, I think. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go get that thing from our good buddy radioactive scientist over here. And do you, do you know how long this took me? Oh, I also have one more thing. If anyone wants to buy some mysterious power underscore substance, five bucks a pop. I got, I got plenty. I'm selling it. Two bucks a pop. 50 cents. I just need to make some money off these. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cause you get like five of these and only one of these. It took forever. So this better be worth it. Mr. Scientist. You're ripping me off. I think, but let's see. Let's take it. Oh, I already see speed stuff. Hold on. We need to go into survival mode for this. All right. In survival mode. We are. I also just realized we are super hungry. So let's, uh, let's eat a little bit. Oh, lovely running speed. Uh, not while we're eating, of course. Oh, there we go. Do I jump higher? I do jump higher. I wonder, does it make me hit things harder? Do I hit things harder? I don't think so. I, I, I doubt it. Let's see. Speed, weakness, strength, and jump. Weakness and strength. Ow. Oh, well, we spawned right here. That hurt. Uh, oh, yeah, my sword gives me extra health, too. So yeah, uh, I don't know how this weakness and the strength work together, but I do have jump boost. It's awesome. Ah, oh, this is great. I don't know if it's quite worth the price you made me pay. Do you see all that radioactive waste out there? Do you know how badly I've ruined the environment? And I like the environment. I live in the environment. Jeez, you're a terrible scientist. So I think what we need to do though, oh, I blew up the pressure plate. Whoopsies. All right, problem solved. Okay, so what we need to do, not throw the water bottle, I want the water bottle. All right, so there's one thing I just completely missed and I just realized it now. There's a power potion. We totally need to try the power potion. Can we get rid of this thing? Is that gonna go away? No, I think I need to throw that on the ground. Get away. All right, let's see how the power potion works. Drink that up. Oh, don't drink more than one. Night vision two, speed three, strength four, and resistance four, ooh. Speed, not so great. I would rather that thing over there. But let's try some creepers out. Let's see, let's see if they kill me. Or punch, punch. I think we punch harder. Do we punch harder? Speed, strength. Oh, that's right, we're in survival mode, that's why. Creative mode. All right, let's drink up another one of these and run away from that creeper, creeper, creeper. Okay, let's, let's, let's test out our strength buff. Strength buff, ooh. Hello, creepers. Why did I choose creepers? How dumb. Oh, we killed one already. All right. Strength buff. Good. Strength buff. Good. It blew up. It blew up. Don't kill me. Yeah, we did it. Uh, maybe we should fix this before I leave, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> going to. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. All right. What I need to do, though. Oh, there's the less health. Yes. What I think. Oh, whoa. we can just jump right over everything. What I think we're going to do is we're going to use our nuke. And yeah, this should be fun. All right, I've gone back into survive creative mode. Why do I always get those wrong? And we're gonna, because I wanna witness this. I wanna test out my nuke. Are you excited, Dr. Treoris? Probably not, you're about to die, buddy. Goodbye. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I don't know. Oh, geez. Well, hey, our radioactive scientist is still okay. Hey, buddy, how's it doing? You're still alive and floating somehow. It's very peculiar. All right, I've got one last nuke. One last hurrah. There's one room left. We need to get it gone. And let's throw it go. That's a cool animation in front of my face. <laughs> there we go. All gone. Oh, my radioactive scientist is now gone too. Sorry, buddy. Uh-oh. What, what's that? Oh, jeez. It's the police. We gotta go. Run. Ah, run away. I don't want to get caught. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Alright guys, that is the end of today's video! I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, command. It's a lot of fun, I liked it. It was really cool, it was definitely an original idea for once. Uh, not for once, there's a lot of original ideas, there really is. But uh, I really enjoyed this one, this one was really cool. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment if you did. And I would always appreciate it if you would hit that big old subscribe button on the screen. It means a lot to me. And you can also watch some other videos of mine that are also on the screen. But again, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.